Thank you. Congressman Ilhan Omar may have committed campaign finance violations. She may have committed tax fraud. Even her marriage history cannot be verified by local reporters. And yet somehow the same press that's fine with harassing random donors to President Trump is not interested in any of this. Steve Jaskowski is a Republican state representative in the state of Minnesota. He and his colleagues have been demanding a formal investigation of Omar for fraud, perjury, and more. He joins us tonight with an update on that effort. Thanks very much uh, for coming on tonight. So how much closer to the truth have you gotten? Well, Tucker, when I was with you last time, we, uh, we have asked formally for an investigation with the Office of Congressional Ethics, and they are acting on that uh, at this point, or at least getting the, the investigation uh, required uh, going forward. Uh, I also formed an online petition, omartruth.com, to take input and encouragement from the citizens across this country to encourage Congress to act. Uh, so we did that last time. Uh, yesterday, I held a press conference with nine of my colleagues, and we focused specifically on the the income tax violations that were exposed by a Minnesota state agency uh, where Representative Omar actually uh, filed taxes jointly with someone she wasn't married to. And so uh, we, we appealed to and wrote a letter to both the IRS commissioner and to the commissioner of the Minnesota Department of Revenue. So the Department of Revenue knows about it. They received the letter yesterday from us. The IRS knows about it. Congress knows about it and the media know about it. We are making certain that all of the people that should be investigating this are aware of it. So there are credible allegations that she both married her biological brother in a sham marriage designed to subvert our immigration law, and that, in fact, Ilhan Omar may not even be her real name, that she may have come to this country under false pretenses. Are we closer to knowing whether those allegations are true? Well, I think we're, uh, we're appealing to the right people. As a matter of fact, you're right. It was a sham marriage. She lied to cover it up. Had, she, uh, had, the, people not kn had the people actually known what happened, uh, they wouldn't have elected her. She wouldn't be in Congress today. And if Congress would do their job, she might not be there much longer. So uh, we're getting the information in front of people that should be doing the work, and we're simply asking them to do their job. Has her now last we checked with you, her office was refusing to answer even basic questions about her family, um, which are not irrelevant. I mean, they're germane to these allegations that she broke our laws to come here and to live here. Has her office given any of the details they've been asked to provide, or are they continuing to stonewall? She no, they continue to stonewall, which is the opposite behavior of what you expect to see from someone if they believe that they're innocent right. of, uh, of any allegation. So uh, the media here in Minnesota continues to just have a blatant disregard for this, and uh, it's, uh, it, it's a struggle with the media. But they know about it. They've known about it for three years. These agencies know about it, and we're doing our best to make certain that they're prepared and fully equipped to do their job. Right. I mean... Ultimately, voters will have a say in this fairly soon, and you know, I, I hope that you can keep them as informed as possible so they can, they can make their decision with all available knowledge. Representative, thank you very much for that update tonight. I appreciate thank you. it. Thank you, Tucker.